Hello guys and welcome to another video. It has been a long time, huh? Today we will be talking about the Paragon jungle and the heroes that fit the roles best. To see the assassins and warriors that are usually jungle heroes, click on the menu on top and select the two categories so we can jump right into the video. For this video we will be focusing on the true king of the jungle, Chimera, and the starter items that switch the jungle best at the beginning of the match. Let's analyze the hero abilities and let's choose the right ones for our playstyle. I like to start with Quick Swing because it stacks with the jungler gem and with our passive healing ability. So let's add some gold and let's buy the jungle gem that is very peculiar and necessary. The destroyer stone has a passive that grants 30 true damage and recovers mana and health on each basic attack. It also has an active ability which will smite the jungle minion or whatever minion causing damage based on level and dealing the hero. You can also buy an upgraded version of this gem but I found it never to be the best choice as we want to build lifesteal as fast as possible in the jungle. But everything in the game is very situational so you do you. So with the destroyer gem and some rechargeable potions let's head into the jungle. The jungle farm usually starts with the red buff, which will grant us a DOT, or damage over time, which melee strike on both monsters and heroes. The red buff will spawn a 120 in the match, so be there when it does, as timing in this game is almost everything. If no one is helping you killing the monster, make sure you are checking your corners every now and then, because the enemy team can invade in very early game, and if you did all correctly, you will kill the red buff without using your gem, which will speed up the farm for the next jungle camp. You can easily use a potion though if you feel like you lost too many HPs. When you move to the next camp, make sure you use the gem on the big minion because it's the strongest and the most annoying. The gem will heal you up and the default melee area damage of the melee heroes will do the rest. Now let me show you what it looks like in an actual match, with an actual rotation. Also, if you aren't sure on where to start, just follow the arrows on the floor with your roll on it. The red buff will always spawn in the little shrine in the middle, and the rest of the camps are located all around the area. Let's see in a real match what a basic rotation looks like. Oh, bad luck, man. That's annoying. Wait a minute, the guy chose ADC and went with Severog. Go Ronin! I don't know if it's a win this one, chat. <laughs> We're having a weird situation. We don't have an ADC. <laughs> We don't have an ADC, man. <laughs> I could have gone jungle with Twin Blast today. Oh. That sucks, man. You hear me? I know what I know. Pushes in the game are the jungler's best friend. If you are moving inside them, they will move and they will reveal your position anyway. So make sure you don't move or you use the best angles not to be seen no matter what.
Also, don't forget the words will reveal you if placed inside the bushes, so be careful. Let's check out some builds that I use with Chimera, starting with an anti-tank build. I usually start with the Vamp Sword, so you can maximize the jungle farm, but I get rid of it in very late game. I usually replace it with the Fanatic's Desert because of the nice shield that will save your life so many times. To counter tanks, you will need the Setter's Chainsaw. Not only nullifies 40% shields, but also increases the damage done to higher HP's heroes, like late game Feng Mao or Rampage or, or still. Now, depending on who you are up against, you can put another nullifier. Or my favorite choice, an extra 800 HP item that will boost your health region even more. Personally, I had to use two nullifiers only against a very tanky Severog. It's rare that someone goes full tank in late game, but not impossible. With this build we will be dealing a lot of dank damage and leaning a lot at the same time. And don't forget the lifesteal and your passive will stack with your quick strikes so don't forget to spam it to maximize the healing when you are fighting somebody. One of the most common mistakes as a jungler is using your leap ability immediately. Start with a nice melee gank and when the enemy tries to run use your leap. If you use it before, they are going to blink and you will lose the opportunity. If I am fighting against a very good ADC, I need to switch my chainsaw with a very nasty item. There are some items that will block the healing factor on your opponents, giving you a big edge. If the enemy can heal himself, you can kill him way faster. So go with the Ghost Axe and do some damage. The Ghost Axe blocks 40% of the healing factor of your opponent, whether it's Narbage healing or lifesteal. It's a must-have to counter enemies like Grooks that have anti-heal built in their skill set, therefore not really needing an item. You will deal less base damage, but it will be so much easier to down enemies with high damage, because they will not heal from it anymore. Now let's check out some early games rotation and ganks with different heroes, so they will give you some ideas. Yeah, but I'm gonna I'm gonna let them know that you know you're not alone there, so they don't play like that. Let me just get this uh, round of mobs and I'm coming. You gotta destroy the morale, like I said. Hmm. Oh shit, Severo is being molesting on the left. Oh, never mind. He's here. I'm gonna help Raikou, okay? This guy is a little bit too annoying. Yeah, that's also a thing, yeah. Thank you, Dino. It's funny because your nickname looks like he's Italian. We're getting this guy. <laughs> Let's go on this arrow. Thank you so much guys for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Don't forget that I'm live every day on Twitch at the link in the description. Bye and don't go naked in the jungle. Drove by the pine, headed to the club and the boss top dies. No
hood about to climb, represent next time. If you love me, you gon' smile. If you hate me, you gon' grind. Uh.